What in the hell? Oh! You're like a little... You're like a little mini giant... Oh shit! Crab that spits nasty stuff. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. Run away! Run away! Run away! And welcome back everybody to Osiris New Dawn and uh, the Fires of Industry update. I'm an old guy gaming and we're picking up pretty much right where we left off in the last episode. Um, so what we have to do is we have to do some salvaging. We got to kill this fire bug here. Does he actually spit fire? Why is he called a fire? Ow. Why is he call a fire bug? He's actually hurting us. Um, I just finished playing some some Conan Exiles and I went to dodge and it didn't work because this isn't Conan Exiles. <laughs> um, so now I got to get used to all the, the different keys in this one. All right. So let's uh, uh. use a bandage there to heal up. Uh, so anyway, let's see. Yeah, we've got a, uh, we got a loot. We got a salvage kind of clean everything up here and get a base going. So I think what we'll do is let's, let's use this set up here as our base. Now, one thing I'd like to do in this playthrough is I would, you know, I would like to actually build the space stations, particularly because, you know, because we can now move the space station um, and maybe even make that our quote unquote main base for this playthrough. But we, we have a lot of stuff that we have to do here on uh, Proteus before we can get that far. So we're still going to have to make uh, essentially a full base even here to do that. But I don't want to put um, any more into this than we absolutely have to to get to the point where we can start building the spaceship. Um, it's kind of funny though because as I say that, uh, like oh, shit, uh, we're st we're still gonna have to put a lot into it uh, to get that to, to work. What? Are you yeah, I don't. I'm not so sure that uh, first person combat. It still seems a little little bit janked out. Um, oh crap. And, you know, it is nighttime, too, so the bugs come out more at night than they do uh, during the day, so that's a thing. Didn't I just hear another bug? It's going to take me a little while uh, to get used to the to the menu keys in this game uh, after playing Conan. So, <laughs> Okay, so anyway, let's see. The first thing we need to do is we need to build ourselves a shelter. So let's go into the F2 menu, go to Structures. And to make a shelter, we need uh, four makeshift patch tape and seven scrap metal. We have plenty of scrap metal, but we do need to make some more makeshift patch tape. So um, what are we missing? Okay, so we need some uh, cloth bundles here. So let's make two of those. And oh, yeah, and I have enough fern tree berries to make that. Okay, so that should give, give us everything that we need to make our um, structure. Hit F2. And there we go. Okay, so... This is basically a shelter, but it's also uh, functions as a spawn point for us. So let's, um, here, let me think about this for a second. I think this is a nice flat area, so we could do stuff out here if we wanted to, but we are going to need an outdoor crafting area too. So maybe that'll kind of be over this direction. Um, and we can use the shelter to kind of create a barrier you know from monsters trying to come in to eat us too so let's go ahead and build it right here so we'll press f once and then hold hold it down always make sure that you tap f and then you hold f down to fully build it if you don't do that then it only partially builds and it's essentially broken and you have to repair it so uh, let's go ahead and harvest this fire snub so we'll get some tissue off him get rid of his body there okay cool so we got that down now what we're going to do is go in here and we're going to press F on it and that sets our, our save point. Um, so that way if we die, you know, we'll spawn back here. Okay, so we got that done. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, what do I have for making um, storage bins, some scrap metal chests? So we need more makeshift tape uh, and we have three hinges. So we can make three of these if we can come up with three makeshift tapes, which I think we can do. So one of the, or three of these, and then three of the tapes, and then we should make three storage things. Now, the storage things are not, you know, there's not a lot of room in them, but, you know, so what you do in the early game is you just make a whole bunch of them um, until you get to the, you know, the better storage, which actually comes quite a, quite a bit later on. 
Our hydration is not good, so let's go into F1 and drink some water. Which one is our lowest water? I think this one is here. So let's drink that. Hydration levels are now And satisfied. let's drink this one too. And our food is also super low. Oh, I grabbed some of these desert uh, yucatus fruits. Uh, they give us seven food and 12 hydration, but they do take two health away. Uh, but still, it's pretty good, you know, food. So we're just going to eat some of these to get our... Um, our food a little bit better under control. Um, and then, you know, it did hurt us a little bit, but not super, super bad. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay. So let's go ahead and start making some storage. Now, what I like to do with the storage, those of you who have watched me play this before, I like to actually use the storage to also help create a barrier uh, to prevent enemies from getting into our camp. So we kind of kill two birds with one stone. So let's go into F2. We're going to go to Utilities. And we should be able to make three of these guys. Uh, so we're going to come over here. We're going to use the right mouse button or the left mouse button to rotate. So right goes that way, left goes this way. And we're just going to set them up here. And we're going to press F and then hold F to build it fully so it's not partially built. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to press F2, go to utilities, hit small metal chest, rotate it so it's the same direction. Actually, we might turn it... Uh, nah, let's just, let's just keep it going this way for, for now. Uh, press F and build it. And then we're going to do one more. Scrap metal chest. Rotate it this way. And, you know, that rover, we're going to act, we're going to eventually fix that rover up. But what we're going to do until we get to the point where we fix it up, we're going to actually use it as a barrier um, to help keep us uh, protected here. So this one's going to be a little crooked, but. It is what it is. This is just kind of a starter setup anyway. It'll get prettier as we go. Excellent. Now, uh, as I get more materials, I'm going to stack these. So you can stack, you can actually stack these quite a, quite a few high if you want to. But all you need to do is stack them too high, and then it'll keep all the monsters out. Because um, it basically creates a fence. All right, so let's open this up, and let's start putting some stuff in here. So I want to sort based upon uh, default uh, or alphabetical. Yeah, I guess we don't have a, I guess we don't have a weight sort in here. Um, so let's start putting some stuff in here. Then the flare, I mean, I never actually use the flare at all. It's probably more, I, I think of a, of a multiplayer thing. So I think I'm just going to drop it because we just don't need it. I mean, it does provide some line, I guess, but whatever. Okay. So let's put stuff in here that we're not going to use this. Should we get rid of this? Mm, better not until we have a, a few more tools, uh, at our disposal. And then uh, the water stuff is pretty heavy, so the ones that are a little fuller I'm going to put in there. We're going to put the empty jar in there. We have some more medical packs there. Uh, let's put all of the component types of items in this one. So pretty much all of that stuff there. And we'll, maybe we'll put, like, bio types of things in here. And I guess we can put the diamond in there, too, even though... The diamond's not necessarily bio. Well, uh, maybe it is. I don't know. Would you consider a diamond bio? It's a natural geological mineral or element, actually. I think. Is a diamond element? I think diamond's element. No, diamond's not element because it's made up of carbon. So it's got to be a compound. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. I'm probably totally not right about that. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we got a little bit of storage in place. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around and loot all of these um, crates and, and um, oh, you know what, before we do that, actually, before we do that, we need to build the workbench. Um, and the quest wants us to do that anyways, because if we can build the workbench, maybe we can make the screwdriver, which is a faster salvaging tool than the one that we start out with. So let's go back into F2. Go to utilities. What do we need for a workbench? We need four scrap metal and three more makeshift patch tape. Okay, so do we have what we need to make that happen? Um, we might need to go get some more plant fiber. But we should have all the rest of it. So let's go here. So we needed four of these in total. So that'll let us make two. Uh, yeah, so we just need to go get some plant fiber. So let's go... Oh, uh, where do we want to go for that? Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Not a lot around this in this immediate vicinity. Let's go check out this tree here. If we use our... What do we get if we use our knife on this? We get tree bark. Okay, what if we use our crab scythe? We get five on tree fruit. Okay, well, actually, we need that too. Okay. That's essentially the same as that other fruit. Gives you takes two health away, but it gives you seven food and twelve hydration. What is this? This is plant fiber. Good. This is a yellow petal palmetto. If we use a knife, a shard blade on it, what do we get? Oh, I, uh, I guess there's nothing left in it. Okay, that's fine. We needed the plant fiber. That was the main thing we needed right there. So let's get back over here. Yeah, it seems like they've changed it to where you can't really hover hop anymore. They do have a glider attachment that you can get later on in the game that helps you move a lot quicker, but it doesn't look like we can hover hop anymore, which is kind of disappointing. It was useful to be able to do that. Unless they've changed it, there's another, uh, you know, a different way to do it now, I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be working like it used to, which kind of sucks. Okay, so let's make two of these. We should be able to make two more of these. Perfect. Okay, now um, we have everything we need to make a workbench. Cool. And we're going to also use the workbench to, again, help barricade ourselves in here from monsters. Actually, though, you know what, though? I want all of these to be chests along here. So let's... Um, let me think about this for a second. Let's move the workbench. Do, 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 do. The opening for this habitat's right here. I should have actually thought about that before I put all this stuff here. We might have to move that. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can do the habitat, though, so... Uh, I think I'm going to put the workbench here just again to kind of create a, a barricade let's just put it right now okay so notice this if I right click it turns it about I guess it's 22 degrees or so um, but that's if you want finer tune angle then you hold down left shift and then you can you know uh, turn it at much finer degrees uh, to get it positioned the way that you actually want it Okay, so let's press F to confirm the build. Excellent. Now we have ourselves a workbench. Okay, now um, some important tools that we want to make. We want to make the makeshift chisel. Makeshift laser chisel. Ooh, that's new. An overclocked makeshift laser that can slowly sample the hardest minerals. It's short battery life. What? Oh, okay, I see what they're saying. So you can actually, I guess you can use this to mine really hard ores, but it has really low durability. That's that's what I'm reading into that uh, until you can actually get the diamond chisel. That's interesting. Uh, but anyway, we want to make the screwdriver and we want to make the makeshift chisel as soon as possible. Those two are going to be really important to us. And we want to make the metal blade too, but that's not as critical as these two. Um, so let's do this. Let's grab the leather that we have, which should be in here, or the hide, I should say. And I'm going to put, yeah, let's put the stone in there now, uh, for now, too. Okay, so we're going to put this, uh, or take this and turn this all into leather. So if you press the little plus, uh, the green plus button, that will craft the, 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 to the full quantity uh, that you have resources for, is what I'm trying to say. Um, otherwise, if you just press right on the item, then it just makes one, you know, one at a time or one uh, unit at a time. So we're going to uh, hide is not useful by itself or anything. You, you have to turn it into leather first, uh, at least as far as I know. And then the leather, it's uh, there's a couple things that use leather straight up. Uh, and then there's some things that use leather straps. So let's let this finish. And then we're going to create ourselves some leather straps. And then we also needed to do a pipe. So... Uh, crude pipe. So that's uh, okay. Yeah, we already have that. So let's make the crude pipe with our scrap metal. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna make some leather straps. Except for I queued up all of them. I don't think I want to make all of them. So I'm gonna cancel. Uh, cancel. There. Okay. I want to keep a, a couple pieces. Not not that it matters. I mean, leather's so easy to come by. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. 
Uh, all right, so now we should be able to make the makeshift screwdriver, which we can, and we can also uh, make the makeshift chisel after we make another crude pipe. Let's do both of those things. The makeshift chisel will allow us to mine up to, I believe, har anything that's a hardness of two or three. We'll have to look at it. Um, but this little screwdriver that we just made is faster than the starting salvaging tool. And I'll show you. <coughs> tight. Sorry about that. I'll show that to you here in just a little bit. Okay, so um, now we can make the makeshift chisel. No, not the chisel chisel. We'll make that later. And then we should be in pretty good shape. We'll, we'll worry about making the, you know, the metal blade and all that later. That's not as, like I said, as important. It does the same thing as a stone blade. It just has more durability. Uh, but right now we want to focus mostly on salvaging, which is what we're going to use that for. Okay, cool. Um, now let's turn the light off because it's really glaring. Oh, you know what? That's right. I forgot about that. Did they fix this to where when you go to the graphics... It does, yeah, you have, even though I have bloom turned off, I actually have to go in here and then exit back out of it to, to remove the bloom. So they still haven't fixed that yet. So it's on their to-do list, I'm sure. On their to-do list. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot and I'm going to salvage because the way that this works, for those of you who are new to the game, the way that this works is when you find these ruined buildings, some items, um, are salvageable and some items are repairable and the way that you know that is let me switch out uh into my salvage tools here uh so we'll put that there okay so if i have my salvage tool out if it says um dismantle or begin repairs then this then this piece is actually a whole piece and we don't want to dismantle it if it's our intention to 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 repair this building which it is okay but if it says uh, salvage, when I look at this, it says salvage, then that you can salvage. Okay. Um, and so basically what we're going to do is use our screwdriver and we got some aluminum out of that. This is a salvage item because it says salvage. So we'll use our, once again, our screwdriver to salvage that, uh, this whole little dome piece up here is salvageable and we should, we'll probably get some glass, uh, from this and maybe a couple other things. Let's see what it gives us. Yeah, we got two pieces of broken glass out of that. Okay, cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now, here's the thing. These crates, if unless they've changed it, these crates will respawn. If you loot them and then you leave the area, uh, I don't know if it's leave the area or if you have to wait a day, I'm, I, I don't remember, but uh, they'll respawn and then you can loot them again. Um I don't do that. I've decided not to do that. I was doing it before, but I decided not to do it because I think that's kind of cheesy and very unrealistic. I mean, you know, we got some crates here. It's got stuff in it. I pull the stuff out and that's it. It's not going to magically reappear. And so I, I, I'm i not going to do that myself. I'm going to loot them one time and salvage them and then be done with it. If you do decide to leave these crates around and reloot them every day, and that's fine if you decide to do that. No judgment on my part. One thing you have to be really careful of, though, is you don't ever want to put anything in these crates. Pull, you can pull stuff out of them, but you don't want to put anything in them because if you put stuff in the crates, when they respawn, you'll lose whatever you put in there. And I learned that lesson the hard way. So, yeah, take my word for it. Uh, don't use these for storage, okay? Uh, in our case, we're just going to loot them. So let's open that up and just take everything that's out of there. And we're going to do that with this one, too. So let's open this up take everything. Oh, good. we got a power cell and another... Um, another medikit and some duct tape. So you can get some good stuff out of these. Now, I want to just kind of demonstrate the difference between the screwdriver that we just made and the starter salvage tool. Okay, so this is a starter salvage tool. Let's see how long it takes us to salvage this. My camera's like being really weird here. So that took about 14 seconds ish or 14 little zit zit zits <laughs> okay this one should be twice as fast this one should only take about seven let's try it two three four five six seven see so the screwdriver is twice as fast as the starter salvage tool so you're going to want to make that screwdriver as soon as possible and then once you do uh the starting salvage tool is essentially junk i mean you can keep it if you want to or you can throw it away uh, in my case well actually you know in my case i'm going to keep it for now until i have you know, just because we're still in the very, very early game. Um, so I'm going to keep it for a little while. 
Uh, but eventually, you know, we'll just get rid of it because we'll, we probably won't ever use it again. We might, but we probably won't. Okay, so let's just put this in here for now. And I'm going to put our chisel uh, down here. And let's put this duct tape down here too. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go around. I'm going to loot and salvage and clean up all of the, the stuff on both of these buildings. And in the process of doing that, we should get some nice little parts. And then when I'm done with that, I'll bring you back and then we'll go from there. Okay, so don't go away. Okay, so we are out of inventory space. Uh, and I still have these two crates left. Uh, both of which, interestingly enough, well, no, I guess not. Uh, this one actually has a pistol in it, but it's not going to really do us any good unless we can come across uh, some ammo, too. Um, so let's grab that. We, we don't have room for these two things. Okay, so we're going to salvage this. And, yeah, you get a lot of good loot doing this. So so we've cleaned up this building. We almost cleaned up that building. We're going to do the same thing over there. Uh, I'm going to leave, like I said, the rover in place. But what we're going to do is go over here and uh, unequip our salvage tool. I'm going to grab b -b 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 this and this. What is this? This is a uh, broken hose. Okay. Well, let's stack that broken hose up there because I don't think... Here, let me look at something here. Uh, in the work table, you can combine broken wires into whole wires um, and you can... Do, there's one other thing you can do in here, too. Well, maybe I'm thinking of the furnace. I'm probably thinking of the furnace. Okay. Anyway, we can combine that. Now, we could also make some circuit boards now. Um, just, I'm just trying to decide if I want to do that right at the moment. Because uh, that's going to use circuit board and wire. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. We're going to need tons of circuit boards when it's all said and done. So let's go ahead and make a circuit board out of that. And the whole point is, you know, you get all this scrap and then you can take it in turn it into um whole you know whole pieces so it, it 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 takes like two pieces of a broken item like two broken wires to make a whole wire kind of idea um and it also then consolidates your stuff too okay so let's go ahead oh you know what we have another broken circuit board in there too so we should be able to make another one here uh yep there we go okay so we'll make another whole circuit board there We'll grab those two things. I'm not going to do this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do the cloth bundles, but I'm not going to do this because this requires scrap metal makeshift patch tape in addition to the broken barrel. And we're not at a point yet where we need barrels anyway, so I'd rather save those other components for things that we do need right away. Okay, so we're going to take and put all this stuff in here now. We're going to keep the hinges and the scrap metal because we're going to be able to use that to make some more uh, storage bins, which we need. Uh, notice that we also got some alloys um, from that, and some uh, some actual ores from the from the um, uh, the salvaging. So it works out pretty good. Magnesium. Oh, that's that's a new look uh, to magnesium from what it was before. Uh, let's put the leather in there. We're gonna keep this. I'm gonna drink that. Well, I guess we don't need to drink a whole lot. Uh, we don't need our bashing stone anymore because we have our uh, our pick. So we're just gonna drop that. Uh, we're going to keep the food in here. The leather strips we don't need to carry around right now. Oh my gosh, we still have a whole bunch of stuff. So this is a new look to zinc. That's kind of neat. Um, do we have room for the wire in here? Let's put the wire in here and uh, we can put broken glass in here. I mean, I'm not like super organized right at the moment. I'm just putting stuff wherever I have room uh, for now. This is soil. We're going to need that for farming later on. This is sand. We could turn this into glass if we had a furnace, but we don't, so we're not we're gonna, we're not going to take up space with that uh, right at the moment. Uh, we do have a little bit of food here, which we can use in our garden later on. So I'm going to hang on to those items. Let's put another water in there, and then we have. I guess we'll put the two circuit boards. Okay, so these are now a hundred percent full. Uh, but like I said, we should be able to make some more. Because um, you know you you end up making a whole bunch of these scrap metal chests in the in the beginning game, um, because it'll be a while before we can afford to make the better storage. 
So that's going to be a little bit lopsided, but you know what? It is what it is. I don't care. So we're going to make that there. And that gives us another storage to put stuff in. So let's just continue to deposit stuff. Dirt. It says dirt's useless, but you actually can use it for uh, one mod uh, later on that we don't have, you know, the stuff for now. You can use it to actually create like a, a sun visor thing on your helmet by smearing mud on it, I guess. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but um, here, we can put those down here. Oh, I found a couple of uh, radar scanners too. Uh, we'll, we'll keep one as, as a backup for now. We don't really need to, but we're going to do it anyway. And then uh, let's just sort everything and... Uh, we're going to get more of these, so I'm just going to keep those in my inventory for now. Okay, good. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm going to continue working on getting the rest of this stuff salvaged. And let's grab the water and the gun there. The gun's pretty much useless to us at the moment unless we can actually find some ammo. And sometimes you can. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see. So let me get the, this side of the building all cleaned up. And I might, you know, make a couple more storage things too before I bring you guys back and then we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, we uh, finally got everything all salvaged uh, here. So all these buildings are cleaned up and uh, I made two more chests and have a little bit of organization going on. So basically this is like food and water here. Um, this one is more bio stuff. This actually needs to be moved over. Let's put these things in here. This is minerals and and alloys. This one is uh, basically like parts and equipment. This one is parts. And this one is parts and more water because I have a bunch of water from looting. Okay, so um, we got all that finished for now. I think what I'm going to do is for this build, I think we're going to go ahead and start with cloth walls because they're just a lot cheaper and easier to make uh, so the way that this works is what if you'll notice that if i look at this it says press f to begin repairs and what it'll do then is it'll put in little ghosts of the items that are missing that you need to um, that you need to basically build uh, so i get my salvage tool out our little screwdriver here and it shows me that i need one zamok and one aluminum in order to build this frame support Okay, so what I'm going to do is come over here, and uh, we have four Zamok, or no, we have six Zamok and 15 aluminum. So we'll be able to build um, or repair several of these walls. So let's go ahead and do that now. You just hold the mouse button down until it builds it. Very good. Okay, and then we'll just keep doing it until we run out of Zamok. Man, that was fortuitous. We had just enough to do all the supports. That's awesome. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to a wall section. And if you scroll uh, the mouse wheel, there's different types of walls um, that you can build. So you can build a normal wall, uh, which requires Zamok, aluminum, and wire. You can build a cloth wall, which is what we're going to do, which requires alien fiber and makeshift cloth bundle. Uh, you can build a heavy wall, which requires cast iron, gun metal, rubber, and wire. Very expensive. Or you can make a coupler, uh, which is basically what this little thing is here. And, the, and of course, you make the coupler if you want to attach something else uh, to the building. Uh, so in our case, we want to, we're just going to make cloth walls because they're super cheap and easy, and it'll get us some shelter uh, that we can get started with. And we can always upgrade those walls later on uh, should we decide to do so. Um, so that means we need to go out and get a crap ton of plant fiber because we need plant fiber to make the wall, to make the makeshift cloth bundles and straight up need it for the walls. Uh, to get that done. Uh, let's see, we also need to make ourselves another crab scythe because the one we have is in pretty bad shape. Now, one of the things you can do in Osiris is when you make your workstations, uh, if you go into the workstation, oh. wait, n no, what? what are, oh, I, I have, oh, be careful of that. If you have your tool, your salvage tool in your hand, um, ah, crap, we got a dust storm. Okay, we're going to have to find some shelter. Um... So I'm just looking underneath my mini map. Right now it has in red text that we're not behind cover. Uh, so you kind of watch that and see if you can find cover. And you can tell which way the wind's blowing too. So this, that gives us cover there. Okay, so we're just going to have to pretty much stand behind this rock 
and um, wait out the storm uh, so we don't take damage. But anyway, let's see. What were we talking about before the storm hit? Um, I can't remember. Oh, we need to... Uh, I, what I was going to show you was you can actually upgrade the workstation um, and you can add other things, other functionality to it. So you can make it like into a repair station, which we're going to do. Uh, so you can repair stuff and then you can also upgrade it even further so you can do like armor upgrades with it or I think it's like tool or weapon upgrades with it. I can't remember. We'll have to look at it after the storm's over. Uh, but it's kind of neat how they do that. So, you know, instead of having a whole bunch of different types of workstations for different things, you have just a few workstations, but then those workstations can be upgraded with add-ons uh, to give them more functionality. And I really like that feature of the game here. Okay, so I guess we'll just wait out the storm. Okay, it's finally cleared up. Seems like those storms last a little bit longer now because I didn't change any of the settings. All right, so um, if you go to the Upgrades tab, you can upgrade this to a, uh, a repair bench. So we already have the aluminum and the leather for this. We would just need to come up with two lead. What is this? That's molybdenum. Yeah, that's not something we're going to need for a little while yet. Is this also molybdenum? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, so we can find lead. Actually, we can find lead in the mine. And then there's one or two locations that it typically spawns um, on the planet, too. Our crab scythe is in really bad shape, so we, we've got to get another one made up here. Let's get some leather off this guy. Now, there's other tools that you can make. There's like... Um, like snips or shears and there's like um, a syringe kind of thing and when you you oh crap there's another one when 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 you use those on plants and animals uh, you get again you get different materials which is really kind of a neat mechanic of this game and for for larger animals you can uh, you can actually harvest different parts of their body. So you can do their legs, their head, their body, that sort of thing. Now, there's this weird thing in the game where sometimes you see these little handles pop up. I don't know what causes that. It's just a glitch. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure why that happens, but it does happen sometimes. If we look in here now, we we have an extra crab scythe. Um, so here, let's split that. So we're going to need to come up with some more uh, makeshift patch tape and some sticks uh, to make the new crab scythe, which we need to do before we get attacked again because this uh, the one we have is pretty screwed. So once we can get a hold of some lead, then we can actually make the upgrade uh, module for that bench, and then we can just start repairing our crab scythe, and we don't have to make a new one every time it, it breaks. So what I'm going to do is go up here where we have some more vegetation, and um, start gathering a whole mess of plant fiber because we are going to need it. So if we use our chisel on this, yeah, we get plant fiber. Okay, good. That's what I want to get. What happens when we use our chisel on this? Uh, oh, we get desert yuccas. Okay, we don't really need that right now. What, do we, what does this give us? That probably give us... Oh, yeah, that gives us plant fiber too. Okay, good. So from the bark tree, we can get a decent amount of plant fiber. If we used the blade instead, we would actually get bark, which is used to craft um, some of the pharmaceuticals that you can do later on in the game. Okay, so we got some more plant fiber from that. Let's get some plant fiber from this. Um, the makeshift chisel has way better durability than the, you know, the, the more primitive tools, so that's why I want to use that whenever I can. Let's go into here, and we're going to turn all of this. We're going to press F2, and we're going to turn all that into cloth bundles. Then we'll make some makeshift patch tape, and we just need to find a... Uh, uh, or no, I guess we need two tapes, yeah, okay. And then we need to find some branches. So we can get branches, I think with the blade on certain types of plants what what do we get oh okay so th so this is another plant that gives you some food this is um they're kind of like plantains i guess uh, they give you seven food and they don't hurt your health so these are these are a good food source let's just eat those straight up right now um but there's like there's like a little just kind of a green bush 
that you can um, get plant or not plant fibers, but sticks from. Let's get plant fiber from that. We've already discovered the yellow palmetto plant. What happens when we use the the pick on the or the yeah the pick? Okay, so we got alien fiber, which is what we want. From there, what about this guy? This is the fibon tree. That's gonna probably give us the fruit. Here, let's get into first person here because sometimes it's just a little weird otherwise. How, wait, aluminum? Oh, we <laughs> we hit the aluminum. Uh, the aluminum thing I was going, how in the hell do we get aluminum from a five on tree? That didn't make sense. Um, okay, so let's see. What else do we got? This is a cinefern. That should just give us, if I can hit it, alien fibers. What in the hell? Oh! You're like a little... You're like a little mini giant. Oh, shit! crab that spits nasty stuff oh this isn't good this is not good this is not good run away run away run away here let's take one of our big medi packs and let's not jump over a cliff and break our leg while we're trying to run away from something that's hurting us we'll do it its job for him if we kill ourselves that thing is fast man so that that's like a mini giant crab um, it's fast and it spits some kind of corrosive crap that really hurts. So yeah, not fun. I think we I think we got away from. Him. Did we get away from? Him? We got a meteorite that came in. Okay, uh, we better take another one of uh, these. Or I guess we never took the first one. I selected, but I didn't actually press the button. So we have a meteorite down there. What do we get when we use the pick on this one again? Yeah, alien fiber. Okay, good. So is this aluminum? No, that's cobalt. Okay. See, cobalt's a hardness of five in our makeshift pick. What is the makeshift pick? Let's take a look. It can do up to hardness of three. That's what the little diamond icon means. Um, so we're going to have to get a better pick before we can actually mine the cobalt. Unless we try that new, uh, you know, makeshift pick thing that we were looking at. That looks interesting. That gives us more Yakus fruit. So what if we use the scythe on this? Okay. Yeah, it still gave us Yakus fruit. So we need to find the, the plant that gives us the sticks. And it's, I'm starting to think it's maybe not even in this biome at all. Oh, we want to stay away from those wasps. They are hostile. You know, it's kind of funny, too, because I had a couple of those sticks and I decided to throw them out because I said to myself, Self, those are easy to get. You don't need to take up... Here, this is what we're looking for. Okay, so if we use this... No, that's plant fiber. I think we need to use the chisel. And we should get sticks. There we go, branches. Okay. Those were the plants we were looking for. Now we should be able to go in here, make our uh, crap site. Because the one we have is just about broken. And like I mentioned in yesterday's episode, uh, as the durability goes down, so then does the effectiveness of the weapon. So we're going to drop this. It's a piece of crap. It's not doing us any good. And we got a new one. What do we do? Drop it on our head? Oh, that was funny. Um, okay, so we took care of that. We got our weapon back. We need to either make a metal blade or we need to replenish our shard blade. What does this give us? That gives us tree bark. We don't want tree bark. Uh, we need... Okay, yeah, that's out. Yeah, there's a purple uh, fernberry tree. Which we need some more fernberries. Maybe we're gonna... Maybe we'll go over there and grab those. Uh, but anyway, what I'm gonna do, guys, now is I'm just gonna go around and get as much plant fiber as I can because we're gonna need them, you know, to build those walls on the base. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and let you go here while I'm doing all that because it's really just going to be me harvesting and we're, we're kind of out of time in this episode anyway. Uh, so uh, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.